So mga Car FF, di ba nag-upload kami lagi ng vlogs, tutorials on the desktop version or tutorial about the mobile app. At least this time, we've discussed kung paano mag-open ng account sa MyTrade, how to fund your account, and yung funding guidelines. So you know when to expect kung kailan makakredit yung funding ninyo so you can start trading. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Kung bago ka sa channel namin, our vision in Ramper Financials is to help people fulfill their financial dreams. Ang topic natin today is actually paano magsimula, paano mag-open ng isang account sa MyTrade, which is one of the most advanced platform for online stock trading. Pero bago ang lahat, I would like to thank everyone who continues to support us by subscribing, sinishare na sa family members by liking our videos, uh, nagko-comment lagi sa baba, nag-click na ng notification bell para masubaybayan lahat ng videos namin. Maraming maraming salamat po. You truly are our mga ka-RFF. Hindi ba? So we already featured MyTrade twice dito sa vlog namin. Yung first video was um, an introduction about my trade one of the most advanced nga platforms and then discuss namin doon is yung seven types of researches nila and then how to use the app um my trade doon sa desktop version and then we uploaded another vlog okay last uh, 2020 this is about using the app so ni run through natin yung buong app para makita nyo kung paano gamitin kasi most people are really using mobile apps instead of yung desktop version so feature namin yun and we've got a lot of um, inquiries comments kung paano mag start ng account sa my trade and meron silang latest version kung paano mag apply and it's very easy Ito, yun po yung ituturo natin sa inyo Hopefully, bago tayo makapag-start kung paano mag-open ng account sa MyTrade, ay eh, naka-join kayo dun sa dalawang Facebook groups nila, yung MyTrade Map at saka yung e-learning hub nila na lagi silang may live doon and yung mga researchers nga nila and technicians nila nagla-live doon ng webinars para mas matuto tayo sa trading, di ba? Sa stock trading. So, all you have to do um, is to go to our website. Um, we'll put the link below, ramper.com. Tapos hanapin nyo yung MyTrade forms doon. Or, if ever you want to check out our partner, si MyTrade, um, you can actually go to start.mytrade.com.ph. So, meron doon. Again, um, that's start.mytrade.com.ph. Ano yung lalabas dyan? Bakit namin ituturo ito? Ito latest, um, latest facility, online facility ni MyTrade. So, all you need to do is go to start.mytrade.com.ph. Tapos, may kita nyo dyan, new account registration. And you may find there five tabs. So, may account information, personal information, investor profile, FATCA or yung Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, and yung agreement, terms and agreement, yung pinaka-last. So, note na hindi ka maka-transfer sa next tab until ma-complete mo yung una. So, the first one na hihingi nila, ano bang difference ng account information sa personal information? Well, dun sa account information, ito yung para dun sa app. So, kasama po dito yung username. Take note that the username must be alphanumeric siya. Okay? And then, merong itatanong dyan na magkaiba din po ang password at saka yung trading pin. So, every time you make a trade sa, um, using the MyTrade app, itat i-reconfirm nila na gusto mo ba talagang i-buy or sell yun. Tapos may trading pin na tinatanong. So, additional security feature po nila yun. And nandyan din po yung um, hint for forgotten password and magayan. So, account information is the first one na kailangan yung ma-fillapan. Now, when you go to personal information, di tapos na kayo mag-fill up, pwede nyo na-click yung next. It will enable you to go there basta complete yung details sa account info. Um, personal info, um, self-explanatory, nandyan po yung details nyo po. So, your full name, birthday, place of birth, citizenship nandyan po, valid IDs, kasama din po dyan na kailangan ni-upload. And note on dito sa personal information, there's a portion un under the citizenship. Meron po na nakalagay na Yung ID, okay, you have to place the ID dun sa maybe clear paper and then you have to sign thrice dun sa tabi ng ID. So, the signature na ginawa nyo should match dun sa ID na i-upload ninyo. So, merong sample talaga dun sa, sa page pag nakita nyo dun sa online na pag-fill up ng forms. So, then you have to upload this here. And kung gusto nyo din ng mag-open ng trust for na account for minors, you just have to upload yung um, birth certificate nila. Basta clear na copy po. Ayan. So, it's all here sa IDs. And then, 
after that, nandiyan yung address, you need to just fill those up. Kailangan po ng tin. Okay, ang inyong mga tin required po yan. And below, yung sa pinakababa natin, you may find there. Okay, it says there, select referred by. Okay, so what does it mean? Saan mo daw nalaman yung my trade? So if ever you're watching this video, tas napunta ka dun sa start at my trade or through our website, actually we'll link you up there also. Pag kinlik mo yun, um, just click others. Okay, click nyo lang po itong others. Kasi nakalagay dyan um, advertisement or a broker, a friend, so others. And then pag kinlik nyo po yung others, lalabas po dyan yung mga katay up ni um, my trade. So we'll flash it on the screen. So meron traders, then ph, march.com.ph, rampver, tapos rampver img. Magkay so dalawa po yung rampver doon. Na isang rampver, isang rampver dash img. So if you're watching the video, you're not an IMG member, one of our partners po yan, you just have to click Ramver. So we'll post on the screen para mas malinaw yung sinasabi kong mga options para makita ninyo. So very important yan para ma-assist namin kayo ng maayos. And we know that you applied for your MyTrade online account through our YouTube channel. Okay, and then after that, pupunta po kayo sa Investor Profile. The Investor Profile para po itong Risk Profile Questionnaire. Uh, may mga other details lang na itatanong dyan. And then, FATCA confirming that you're not a U.S. citizen. And then, merong terms and agreement. Paano yung procedure kapag ka mag-withdraw kayo, mag mag-buy or sell kayo. Ito lang yung reminders ng konti. And then, after that, mag-aantay po tayo ng 2 to 3 days for you to get the codes. Merong po mag email na verification email po sa inyo na from, directly from my trade Hindi from Ramp Vera. Directly from my trade Okay, so next. Kung nakapag-open ka ng account, you already have your verification codes, verification email from MyTrade, pwede na kayong mag-fund ng inyong mga investment. Pwede na kayong mag-fund ng account. Pero ano ba yung options sa pwede sa inyo? So actually, they have BDO, BPI, Metro Bank, CoinsPH, Union Bank, RCB, CN, remittances na options. Pwede po yan. So kasi ang ginawa ko, I enrolled them as one of my billers para... Diba yung kailangan malang yung reference number or subscriber number, which you will get kapag ka nga may account ka na with um, my trade, yun yung gagawin mo reference number, enroll as biller, para nandun na siya sa online banking facility mo ng merchant, diba? Um, so we'll tell you how to do it. We'll be flash on the screen ano yung pwedeng options ninyo step by step. So watch this. So we'll see here how to fund your account. So Una sa lahat kapag ka bills payment, kailangan natin malaman yung reference or yung ating subscriber number. So ito yung sa screen niyo, how to get your reference number or subscriber number. Well, sa app, where can you check this? You can see this sa uh, under portfolio na option. Lalabas po dyan yung account nyo sa taas ng name nyo. Yun yung inyong reference number. So also here for the desktop version, nandun po siya sa upper left. If you click portfolio and then equities. Doon makikita nyo po doon sa upper left yung inyong reference number. So that's for bills payment, okay? So let's go to the other option, ba? Since nakuha na natin yung reference number, we can now enroll sa BDO, BPI, or Metro Bank. Yung doon sa left side ninyo is the online bills payment. And then sa right side is if you're going to apply for this over the counter, may form lang na kailangan, uh, may deposit slip lang na kailangan fill upan. So, Let's go here sa BDO. Go to bdo.com.ph, click online banking, login, um, and then enrollment. And then, ayan po yung details ng Abaco Securities Corporation and your 8-character client code na yun yung sa taas kanina yung subscriber number. And how do you pay? So, pag na-enroll na siya, pwede mo na siyang makita sa bills payment and then pay bills and then enter the amount. So for BPI, on your left is yung online bills payment. Yung sa right naman ninyo yung form if you're going to do with this over the counter. And again, ang suggestion ko, sana may online accounts na kayo. So go to bpi.com.ph, ayan, log in, click other services, recipients, manage recipients, and then add the biller. So Abacus Online or Mtrade ang pwedeng biller name. mag appear po yun sa BPI listed merchants. And then, ayan, very important, since bills payment, kailangan na character client code, 8 character client code, yun yung kanina natin, reference number. And then, how to pay under pay bills, and then click yung biller or yung merchant, and then confirm the payment. So, for Metro Bank also, ganyan din ho kadali. On your left here is yung online bills payment, www.metrobank.com.ph, mag-login, and then it says there, 
uh, under special biller, select investments, tapos type Abaco Securities Corporation under biller. Ayan, number five, kailangan na naman yung eight character client code. So, very important po yun. Actually, sobrang convenient nga nitong this payment facility kasi automatic booking siya, di ba? So, kapag ka-over the counter ka, you just need to fill up a payment slip para makapagbayad. Okay, for coins.ph, okay, um, ito na yung kailangan yung gawin. Number one, tap pay bills and go to the stock and securities. Click my trade. Enter the amount na gusto mong i-fund. And then fill out the details and then slide to pay. Okay, next natin, let's go to Union Bank naman. So, pag sa Union Bank, at saka itong um, si coins.ph, meron din siyang online bills payment na facility. For... Union Bank, this is fund transfer lang. So, kailangan isi-send po to sa Rampver para mabook, makredit siya. So, there's an option one, fund transfer. And then, five easy steps lang po. Choose send request. Then, another Union Bank account. Tapos, kailangan nyo lang i-type yung account number. Makita nyo rin yan. Diyan sa right side of your screen. Dun sa kung mag-over the counter ka. Um, review the details. Submit by pressing transfer. And then, send the confirmation to funds at MyTrade. Or actually, sa ramp verpo, pwede namin kayo matulungan. So, again, sa Union Bank, pwede siyang fund transfer lang. Or, pwede bills payment. I think, sabi ko sa inyo, napakadali nung pag-bills payment. Kasi nga, automatic booking. So, here are the step-by-step. -step, ayan. Para magamit nyo yun. Bills payment na online. Just enroll that. Actually, iba-iba lang yung website nila. Pero, pare-parehas lang ng details dun sa BDO, BPI. Metro Bank na mga pag-enroll. There's also another one, RCBC. Ayan, yung account number is also there. Just have to log in, select transfer, proceed to select source, select destination, and then input the amount. Again, hindi itong RCBC, hindi siya fund transfer. So, you always have to send the proof of successful transaction or proof of payment sa ramp ver email. So, pwede yung dyan sa funds at my trade, but always copy us or kahit sa amin, isend nyo. Ipapaprocess natin yan. So, for remittances for our OFW clients, may our OF clients and friends. So, I'll scroll this slowly. Anyway, we can actually give you a copy of this naman. So, meron dyan yung BDO BPI Union Bank na pwede nyo pag-transfer na ng inyong mga remittances including the SWIFT code. Di ba laging hinihingi yan pag remittances yung SWIFT codes? So, yun mga car FF, you've seen all the options, yung bank, pati yung procedure, step-by-step, kayang-kaya. So, to sum it up, meron lang tayo options no bills payment, ordinary bank transfers, and remittances. So, ngayon, we'll talk about yung funding timelines. Kailan ba makikredit kapag bills payment ka? Kailan makikredit kapag uh, ordinary bank transfer ka? Um, we can also discuss yung funding timelines kapag uh, mag-withdraw ka ng funds mo, nakapag-sell ka. Tapos um, yung proceeds no yung gains nung gusto mong i-withdraw. Or meron ka lang dun sa wallet mo sa my trade may, may cash ka dun gusto mong i-withdraw a portion of it or lahat. Ano ang cut-off na yun? At saka yung mga, sa mga remittances. So let's go first sa bills payment. You can do this via BDO, BPI, or Metro Bank. So for overnight deposits, any overnight deposits? Kung uh, 1 p.m. nakapag-fund ka, Okay, when I say bills payment, in-enroll mo to sa bank account mo. So, may reference number, no? So, 1 p.m. until 8 a.m. the next day, makakredit po yun sa MyTrade account ninyo 11, on or before 11.30 a.m. on the same day. So, yun yung sa overnight deposits. So, automatic yan. Sa morning siya makikredit, no? And if it's a same-day deposit from 8 a.m. naman until 1 p.m., nakapag-bills payment ka, makakredit po yun sa MyTrade account nyo on or before 4 p.m. So, baka magamit yun na siya pang trading the next day since close na yung stock market natin. And any deposit, any bills payment um, made during a weekend or sa holiday, lagi siyang makikredit next banking day on or before 11.30 a.m. Okay, so yun yung bills payment. You don't even have to send yung proof of payment ninyo na nag-bills payment kayo kasi automatic booking siya since nga yung code nyo nandoon. So, no need to send proof. Pero... Ang suggestion mo namin is sana ma-safe keep nyo po yung mga screenshots na yan or yung mga email sa inyo and then send nyo pa rin po sa Rampver. So we'll put the link below para lang may extra copy tayo in case hindi mag-reflect agad. Madali tayong makakapag-follow up. So done na po tayo sa bills payment facility. Now let's go to the other option na ordinary bank transfer. So you can use yung sa Instapay or Pesonet or Coins.ph. So dito naman, um, 
hindi siya crediting on the day. Lagi siyang next banking day. Actually, one to two banking days bago ma-process. Depende din ho sa ginagamit natin kung it's a pay nga or peso net. Kasi kailangan mag-reflect muna siya sa bank account ni MyTrade, of course. And very important po ito. Kung sa bills payment, since registered siya, may account number ka, may reference number ka, hindi na kailangan mag-send ng proof of payment. Ito, dahil ordinary bank transfer siya, you always need to send the proof of successful transaction. Diba may email yun na nag-push through yung funding dun sa third party na bank account. So very important yun. No email of the proof of successful transaction, hindi siya makikredit. But if you do send it immediately for crediting um, 11.30 a.m. on or before 11.30 a.m. din. Okay? Now let's go to the withdrawal of funds. So any request made before the cut of na 12 noon, pwede niyo pong makuha yung funds ninyo within the day. Same day lang po, ganun lang po kabilis. Kaya um, sometimes sa forms dati, kung naalala niyo hard copy ng forms, hinihingi yung mga bank account. Kasi kailangan po yun kapag ang credit ng withdrawal or yung mga redemption proceeds ninyo. Sa niyo po i-email yan, please we'll put the link below. Pwede niyo pong email dyan yung mga requests ninyo to help my trade also. And last one, for the remittances sa mga OFW natin na nakapag-open ng account dito before, tapos nasa abroad na, um, paano yung sa remittances naman kung wala kayong mga online banking facilities? Uh, when you say remittances, you have to always send the proof of um, remittance tapos dito sa email ulit ni Rampver para ma-forward namin sa MyTrade. And this is... Um, subject to actual crediting of the bank. So, hindi siya kagad mag-reflect. Kailangan ma-remit muna nung remittance center nyo dito sa bank ni MyTrade. Kailangan mag-reflect doon. Doon namin malalaman if may account na, may funding na, then we will credit it. Then MyTrade will credit it to your bank account. So, mga ka-RFF, di ba? Nag-upload kami lagi ng vlogs, tutorials on the desktop version or tutorial about the mobile app. At least this time, we've discussed kung paano mag-open ng account sa MyTrade, how to fund your account, and your funding guidelines. So you know when to expect kung kailan makakredit yung funding ninyo so you can start trading. Again, shout out po kay Michelle Aguilar and China Baracina, my trade family namin yan, na very supportive po sa Rampver Financials. Kay mga ka -RFF, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that notification bell for future videos, give us a thumbs up, comment down below kung anong gusto nyo maging future topics namin. Again, this is Sila. Thank you and stay safe.